In today's vehicles, they're limited by the battery technology. Batteries tend to be expensive right now and fairly heavy. Uh, therefore, if you want to get a very long range, you have to put in a lot of weight and a lot of cost associated with the battery energy storage system. It's a problem all electric vehicles face. Limited driving range from a battery that can only hold a limited amount of power. Mitchell Olszewski at the Oak Ridge National Laboratory in Tennessee is working on a way to change that with a method called resonant magnetic coupling. There's a magnetic field that's generated by the transmitting coil that interfaces with the receiving coil and you then transfer the energy across an air gap where we think the most revolutionary concept is to actually embed these transmitting coils in a roadway, say on an interstate, as you travel over those coils, the coil in your car picks up electricity from the coil in the roadway, and you are essentially driving on electricity supplied by the roadway. We can actually develop a transportation system where energy is supplied by the highway to the vehicle. This way, that allows you to put in a smaller battery pack in the vehicle. Uh, when you travel on these e-ways, if you will, you get off the e-way, you've got a full charge in your battery, you do your running around in the city or whatever you're doing, you get back on the e-way, you're charging up again and you're using electricity to drive. The lab says the entire concept is completely safe as the coil is only activated when another coil is over it. So unlike something like the third rail of a subway, it'd be perfectly safe to walk over. However, the technology just isn't ready yet. Basically, we would have to reduce the coil sizes by a half or so, uh, basically, so that then you could just put the coil up underneath the trunk, for example. Over the next 12 to 18 months, we're going to be retrofitting three different types of vehicles uh, with this technology so that we can then have the auto manufacturers in and literally let them kick the tires. So how much does this future electric highway cost? Some of the preliminary estimates that we have of what a roadway would cost to, to you know, embed the coils and like that is something like $800,000 a mile. We feel that that's, uh, that cost can probably come down as we improve the coil designs, as we improve the power electronics. Um, and we believe that investing that kind of money to free us from the dependency on oil is probably a fairly wise investment.